I think there's probably some classic textbook psychology around that. Tell me about your coach, Amy. Is, is Amy's last name Everett? Uh, Anaya Everett, yeah. Anaya Everett. Tell me about your relationship with her, how you met her, and um, why you've kept the same coach for all these years. She's still your coach, right? Uh, kind of, I mean, she, um, Uh-oh. for this season, I was kind of, I mean, we're business partners too, so we're still like, you know, friends and everything. Uh, yeah, and I would still consider her my coach. But um, yeah, she was more of like kind of a, a sounding board this year, just with like, um, I just wanted to see how programming for myself went Metcon wise and everything. But yeah, uh, phenomenal coach. Our relationship kind of happened organically. Um, they moved to, uh, they moved one town over from Redmond where I live, uh, really close by. And their daughter wanted to do CrossFit. Um, I think she was just getting out of gymnastics at the time. So started personally training her. Uh, and then she kind of pushed that of like, you should let my mom train you. And so I went over to their, they have like an awesome like gym and their, their whole garage is basically one big gym. <clears throat> they basically set it up so that they could run camps out of there for a little stuff. Um, so yes, yeah, so I started working with her, uh, just with like my weightlifting stuff. And then it just made sense to me after a while to, uh, you know, if I'm getting my weightlifting programming done by this person, I should probably just have everything done. Cause then everything kind of fits together a little bit better. Um, but yeah, Amy's awesome. She coaches with every part of her being, you know, doesn't hold anything back. So she's, she was a large part of my success in 2018 and, uh, and yeah, I'm I'm super grateful for her and Greg both. Um, a lot of opportunities come from those relationships. Cody, that that you said about wanting to have like uh, the same coach for a lot of different things is actually kind of the opposite approach that many athletes take, where they'll have a weightlifting specialist, they'll have an aerobic coach, they'll have a nutritionist. Have you ever tried that out, or do you have any thoughts about why some athletes might prefer it that way? Brian, Brian's referencing something on Cody's Instagram, right? Where he said, is that what you're referencing? The comment he, just, he made on his Instagram? Oh, he just said no, it. Okay. He I just apologize. said it. <laughs> okay. But he did say something on his Instagram about he would only take a coach um, if he believed that they knew what they were doing. So I, I apologize. Yeah. Sorry, I missed that, Cody. Go on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, I can I can see the, uh, the benefit in both, you know, like people working with, you know, Chris Hinshaw for aerobic capacity or, you know, a specific weightlifting person and then, um, you know, maybe you have like a swimming coach, whatever. Um, for me, it just made sense. Like I, I don't, I didn't want my programming to overlap and I thought it'd be the easiest just to have one, you know, it coming from one person and then it's just easier. Um, but I totally see the benefits. Like I just re- reached out to the guy who did a rowing seminar at our gym about a year ago to give me like a little rowing template to work on. <laughs> Um, so, you know, I, I do take advantage of that. I want to, you know, respect the people that are experts in their field. Um, but I think it does make it easier. Like, yeah, I have a lot of people message me, like, you know, asking if I have like a weightlifting program or something. Um, and I don't right now, but, uh, you know, my advice is always like, you know, I'll point them to like catalyst athletics or something, but then, you know, also reminding them that it's important. Like if you're just going to do a weightlifting program, you need to really be conscious of, the programming that you're doing at your gym metcon wise making sure you're not clean and jerking like three days in a row or you know squatting every day of the week or something so i think i think that was the main thing the reason that i uh just you know wanted amy to do everything for me cody you, you and i are pretty similar size i'm a couple inches taller but the same weight what do you think the main reason is that you can snatch over 100 pounds more than me <laughs> um Great question. Great question. Selfish, but still a great question. Do you take creatine? I, oh shit! I, <laughs> it's um, the only... What's your what's your what's your steroid supplementation, Brian? Yeah, no, I can't say that on here. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I don't know. I think background in gymnastics helps a lot. You know, I I had pretty good mobility from the get go. Um, you know, overhead squats were never like a struggle for me starting CrossFit. Uh. And then I've just put a ton of work into it, man. Like I, um, I went through a period of time where I didn't PR my snatch for two and a half years. And I was like, as a competitive athlete, but you know, working with Amy and Greg and kind of rebuilding my form and having a better understanding of the way, even just, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? I was going to say physiology, but I don't think that's 
the right word. The way Olympic lifting works and what you actually need to do to like elevate a bar and stuff. Um, I think it's a lot of a lot of reps and a lot of practice. I, I brought up Amy. I, I brought up Amy because I feel like she's one of the unsung heroes in the coaching world. Like I watch a lot of UFC, and there will be a, there are some UFC coaches out there who I just know are from looking at their athletes. The, the the small stable they have they're just amazing and i always wonder why more people and, and maybe more people do i don't really know i don't know her business and i don't know her that well but i respect the shit out of her every time i see her i think you described her perfectly when you said she coaches with her entire being every time i would see her at a regional or a games man she was like dead lock focused on you yeah and she had an extreme amount of passion and um and and there's probably some healthy pressure there that she put on you. She's the kind of coach definitely you want to please, and you you want to make proud of you, right? And uh, yeah, I, that, and, and that's why I brought her up. It, it see, I, I'm surprised that more athletes don't go to her. Are there any other games athletes she trains? Um, and of course she has her think. husband as that amazing resource also. Yeah, yeah, they're both super knowledgeable. Greg is an incredibly smart guy. Um, I don't know if she, I think she's, she's helped a couple different games athletes with weightlifting stuff. Uh, she worked with, you guys know, uh, Carly Fuhrer. She, I mean, she, no, we can't hear you, Brian, or I can't. I can't hear me. Oh, I can't hear him either. But Brian does know who she is. He knows who everyone is. Yeah. If, she, if she did CrossFit <laughs> on planet Earth, Brian knows who she is. Okay, cool. So he knows. Um, anyway, we trained together for a while, and she was uh, um, she was doing Carly's programming um, for maybe six months to a year or something like that, uh, and weightlifting for a little bit longer, I think. So, yeah, she's worked with she's worked with other CrossFit athletes, but I think I was probably her primary crossfit athlete and she's obviously primarily a, a weightlifting coach you know she's coaching maddie rogers going to the olympics this year and everything so um that's probably more her main focus at the moment but she just she just uh she does still do crossfit for quite a few people